Okay, here we are. We're gonna haul these trusses up for our new roof. And I knew it was gonna be something I was gonna have to do when I had the chance, so we had to do it kind of by ourselves. So I rigged up um, a methodology that uh, would hopefully work. So what we did was we made a little sled out of, well, we're gonna make a sled out of those boards there. They're gonna go at an angle up to the roof. We'll kind of guide the trusses up and we'll have the, uh, trusses on the ropes. They only weigh about 160 pounds, so, so I'll be able to lift it with this, and it'll come up over the top of the roof. By the time it gets up on the top, I'll be able to kind of pull it and bring it down so that it lays down flat on the top of the roof with this, and I'll be able to pull it this direction, and then I'll swing it around so that it's facing the point that way. And then once the point is that way, we'll come over here and we'll disconnect the other rope. We'll hook it up to this rope and we will use this pulley and it'll pull it up into place so it'll be held upright um, with the ropes and uh, stable enough for me to be able to fasten it in the place where it belongs. And then after that happens, we'll disconnect it and we'll be able to unstrap it. We've got these, um, we've got this pole fastened in with these, with these straps here. And we'll unstrap it, pull the post down, get it underneath, and move it under to the next, to the next point for the next truss. And we'll do the same thing. And it's pretty strong, so it'll It'll lift that up. The hardest strain is going to be pulling sideways, which is not going to be bad because it's going to slide. When it starts lifting it up, then it'll, it'll be a lot less weight on it because it's going to be standing upright. So I'm pretty sure that it'll work good, and we'll see what happens. We're going to try a test run here today with uh, with one of these trusses, get it up top. I'm going to do all the layout for all the, the layout for the trusses, and then we'll do cutting of blocks and stuff like that. So as we go, we'll obviously block off the trusses brace them with cross braces and then we'll keep going so that the strength of the uh, the trusses is contained within the cross bracing and, and uh, hopefully we'll get her done and then we'll be able to get those uh, um, the roofing plywood on there and then we'll do the roofing and hopefully have this thing covered. It's been wet and it's kind of annoying to see it get rained on all the time.